Right, so today's the day I start my NMN experiment properly. Uh, I'm going to come back and I'm going to explain to you all the baseline statistics, my um, waist size, my weight, etc. Uh, I'm also going to show you up here the, the belt that I wore and I talked about in the first video, which was uh, how I lost six inches off my waist just using the low carb, high fat diet. Uh, and today's the day I also shave off my beard so that the photographs that I take as documentary evidence of my experiment um, will show if there's been any change in the skin around my neck with regard to aging, um, etc. So I'll see you after I've had a shave. Hi, so here I am, all freshly shaved. Uh, unfortunately for you, it actually shows more of my face. And my wife did say this morning that um, even though I haven't started taking the tablets, I do look at least six days younger. So she is hilarious. Uh, I am truly blessed. So what I want to talk about today is my um, dosage and my daily routine. Um, so the dosage I'm going to start with is one tablet um, of 125 milligrams. Um, and then I'm going to ramp that up as quickly as possible to about one milligram a day. This is what Davy Sinclair um, says gives you some kind of um, viable results. Uh, I would start taking one gram a day now, but some of the research I've done has shown that people have had some adverse effects if they've taken it um, too quickly. So upset stomach and um, diarrhea. So starting with 1.25 milligrams, working up to a gram as quickly as possible. And I'll, and I'll make very short videos if I do up the dosage, if I see that there are some positive effects. So my daily routine, <coughs> my diet uh, are all tied in. Um, and as I explained in the last video, going on to more of a low carb high fat diet uh, has helped me lose a fair bit of weight and also some other baseline statistics that I'm going to show you later. So I finish eating at eight o'clock at night and then I go to bed. I wake up about six in the morning. Um, all I have then is one normal multivitamin um, and a glass of water. Uh, and then I go to work. And while I'm in work for the morning, all I drink is I'm drinking it now, is my um, black coffee. And black coffee is shown that it, it, uh, it doesn't take you out of the fasted state. So water and black coffee is what I drink until about lunchtime. At lunchtime then, I will eat about four or five, sometimes six, uh, fat bombs. Now, if you go onto the internet, uh, you'll find many YouTubers will show you uh, how to make fat bombs and some of the nutrition channels will explain to you the, the, the benefits of taking fat bombs. Um, they're high in fat, very low in carbohydrates, so they don't uh, spike your insulin as much. And as you know, insulin is a fat storing um, hormone. Uh, and they fill me up, and they fill me up for the rest of the afternoon until I go, if it's during the week, until I go to the gym. Um, my gym routine is not gonna change, so I'm not gonna use this as a catalyst to exercise even more lose weight and make it look like it's the it's the NMN that's uh, that's doing that. So um, I go to the gym, I do maybe 15 or 20 minutes light weight training, um, bench press, compound exercises, shoulder press, etc. Now it's been shown that men who are over 50 find it more difficult to maintain lean muscle mass uh, and it's something that you need as you get on uh, as you get on in life. After I've done the weights um, and I usually go to the gym two, maybe three times a week, no more than that, and I'm not going to increase that. Um, after I've done the weights, I will then go on to a cardio for about five or ten minutes. Sometimes a stepper, sometimes the rowing machine, never the treadmill. I really don't like running. And the other thing I like doing is a, is a system called Tabata, which is a high-intensity interval, interval training system. Um, you can download music from... Uh, YouTube, which has the countdown timer on it, and you exercise for 20 seconds, you have 10 seconds off, and you exercise for another 20 seconds. And you do that for uh, eight sets of the 20 seconds of exercise. 
Uh, and I have to admit, by the end of it, you are pretty wasted. Uh, I normally do that, take a rest, drink some water, and then do another set before I uh, knock it on the head and come home. When I come home, if I'm not feeling hungry, then I won't eat until dinner time. If I do, it's usually a bag of, um, or a cup of nuts, usually almonds or cashews, um, unsalted, but I salt them with Himalayan uh, rock salt. Then it's evening meal, and the evening meal is cruciferous steamed vegetables, so Brussels sprouts and cauliflower, um, either homemade burgers, and I try to get as high a fat content of meat as I possibly can from the butcher, um, or steak, any kind of steak, but I actually like um, ribeye steak because it tends to have again, a lot of fat in it. Uh, occasionally, for change, I will have um, a chicken breast, uh, and like the steak, it's cooked on the barbecue, although um, not really that often. The good thing is I tend to eat that for six days a week. So although it's pretty boring, it shouldn't make any massive effect to any of my results. As I mentioned in the last video, Thursday night is um, pizza night. So I do have pizza, I do drink dry coke, and I do feel bad the next day. Um, so the next thing I want to cover is why I'm going to start taking uh, nicotinamide mononucleoside. Um, I've been following David Sinclair and others in the field of longevity. Uh, and when I say longevity, not necessarily just living longer, but also living healthier and being able to have a higher quality of life, no matter how long that life is going to be. Um, it's a fact now we know that NAD levels in our body, as we get older, drop. Uh, and NAD is responsible for switching um, or holding on to the genes that accelerate the aging process. So the higher our NAD levels, um, the slower the aging process is going to be. Now, during his uh, podcast with Joe Rogan, um, David Sinclair said that the experiment that he'd done with mice um, highlighted on three main areas. And these were muscle wastage, insulin resistance, and inflammation. And in human beings, these are three factors that um, are directly related to uh, aging and age-related diseases. Uh, and they noticed that after one week of giving the mice um, NMN, a two-year-old mice, with regard to these three factors of muscle wastage, insulin resistance, and inflammation, was giving back the results as if it was a six-month-old um, mouse. Now, comparable terms for human beings, that's the same as a 75-year-old having the results of a 25-year-old, which, which is quite remarkable. Um, to be honest, I'd be happy with half that. So if someone was to say to me, at the age of 75, you'll be feeling and acting the same way as a 50-year-old, then I would take that every day of the week. Now, although this is, this is my experiment, and I'm gonna move on in just a second to um, my baseline statistics, body weight, um, body fat percentage, etc. If there's anything else you'd like me to implement into the experiment, I will. Obviously, I don't have access to laboratories to do lots of uh, detail tests, but the normal run-of-the-mill run things that I could do, I will try to, to fit in. So I'm gonna look at now my... Um, my baseline statistics <clears throat> and explain to you what those are at the age of 55. Today is my birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday to me. Um, and as the months go on, then I will continue to record these uh, and be able to show you the direct correlation. Uh, and as I said, I'm not going to change my diet. I'm not going to change my exercise regime. The only thing I'm changing is taking uh, nicotinamide mononucleoside. So hopefully and that will show the effects of taking that particular supplement. So my weight, um, as of yesterday, when I went to the gym, um, was 92 kilograms. My body fat percentage was 23%. And my basal, my basal metabolic rate was 2,300. Now, this, as well as body fat, is something that I really uh, am going to try and focus on. Basal metabolic rate is the amount of carbo sorry, the amount of calories that you burn 
when you're in a rested state. If you, if you don't do any exercise and you just sit down all day, I would burn off 2,300 calories. Obviously, the higher that number is, um, the better because you're burning calories when you're at rest. You're not only burning calories when you're exercising. Two years ago, the gym that I did subscribe to um, increased their prices an insane amount. So I had to leave those and start with a new gym. I'm now with um, Gold's Gym, which is uh, an exit facility. Part of the joining process for that is they do these baseline tests. My basal metabolic rate two years ago, about the time I was starting my low carb, high fat diet, was 1996. So there's been an increase in my basal metabolic rate um, over the two year period of me doing the low carb, high fat diet. It'll be interesting to see if um, the NMN affects that as well. My blood pressure, um, was 122 over 73, which for a 54 year old then, 55 year old today, I think is, is pretty good. Again, I don't know if that's gonna change that much. Um, we'll see. My waistline, now although I wear 33 inch um, waist trousers, I measured my waist around my belly button this morning. My wife measured my waist around the belly button, the widest part of my stomach, and it was 39 inches. <laughs> Um, so as well as losing body fat, I'm hoping to reduce that as well by um, increasing my NAD levels. Um, haven't yet, but later on today when the, when the light gets better, uh, I'll take photos of my eyes, um, the area of my neck and also the back of my hands. As I mentioned in the first video, I think these are three areas that I believe um, reflect um, aging. So they'll be interesting. I'm not sure that in the first year or the second year it's going to show much, um, show many results. However, in two, three, four, or five years, and that's the reason I'm keeping this record so I can look back and I can actually see something specific as opposed to just um, photographs I've taken, family photographs I've taken, uh, where I may or may not look younger. So that's it. Um, I will take my first tablet now. Uh, and I will keep you informed of my of my progress. Uh, I'm looking at doing something in about maybe a month if there's something um, that's definitely changed. And I'm going to up the dosage from 1.25 milligrams. I'll do a short video on that. If not, I'm probably looking at about two months before I sit down and, and discuss you what's happened with regard to my baseline stats. <clears throat> uh, the other thing I'm going to talk about as well is is my um, not psychological state, but my my demeanor, uh, if it's made me calmer, because I've, I've read in some uh, people's reports that when they've taken it, they have found out that they've been calmer, more relaxed, etc. So uh, hopefully that that, um, that may also may also happen. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again when I've got something um, important to report back on. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.